Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on November 11th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun as we did have a moderate to strong C-class solar flare to report. Notable in the last few images little flash on the right-hand side in the sunspot region. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this would be from the left-hand side of our sun. Not much to talk about in the way of sunspot regions that are visible. Things are quieting down after these multiple sunspots have been producing multiple solar flares and as well plasma filament prominence and eruptions. That's the last 48 hours outgoing. And a look at multi-spectrum here. The last two days of events. As we do have that CME impact expected tonight and into tomorrow. Geomagnetic storm G3. G2 to G3 geomagnetic storm is expected. Big coronal holes there developing. Northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. 171 angstroms here. And this is where you can really see the magnetic fields of our sunspot regions as those two that are outgoing in the bottom right hand corner one of them as i noted yesterday a very fast moving and forming sunspot has turned into a big hole like the other one but right now there are five sunspot regions also notable here look at this big plasma tornado turning and cresting over the sun right now Amazing imagery. And then uh, our large sunspot regions that are getting ready to turn away. That upper one is that fast moving sunspot. Current space weather conditions G2, a moderate geomagnetic watch in effect, and as well R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 486 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux showing a strong C-class, almost a mild M-class geomagnetic activity. KP1, watch for that to hop up as the space weather event affects us and impacts us. And this is the one I'm talking about right here. And as you can see, it's going to be coming in late tonight and into tomorrow. So lest we forget on November 11th and we've got a geomagnetic storm hitting us, having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing a small CME taking off in the outgoing direction towards Venus. And that will be visible here with the LASCO 2 showing that halo CME and as well multiple C-class solar flares and a couple more CMEs. All this brought to you by Soho, Alaska, and is well mixed with daily events worldwide. Now let's have a look at our solar winds over the past seven days. As we topped out at 730 kilometers per second the other day when it was up over 680 I'd seen. Well, we ended up getting even faster than that. 730 kilometers per second during these solar events that we've seen the past seven days. But most notable here was back six days ago when our cosmic density bunches were up to 58. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still seeing an event at the Banda Sea and as well Tuel, Indonesia, reporting a six or a 5.7 just recently, but there was also a 6.1 again, Banda Sea, Indonesia, pretty deep earthquake here, 523 kilometer depth. 5.5 there, uh, Port Vila, Vanuatu, and as well a deep earthquake here, 591 kilometer depth, 4.5 Fiji, but still pretty quiet for that region, as you've seen it pretty busy over this last little while. Bonin, Japan Islands region, Nishinashima, and as well notable activity from yesterday, 4.5 there, Alaska, 4.1 here, Petrolia, California, 
No major swarms to talk about, but pretty notable earthquake here. Bennington, Kansas reporting a 4.0 magnitude earthquake. Let me know in the comments sections if you're watching from Kansas today, if you felt any shakers today because 4.1 magnitude was reported. Activity coming back to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and as well as South America here, even as far southeast as Argentina, 4.0, as well as 4.9 there, Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands region. That is around the Michael Volcano, who has been showing signs of activity. And as well, notable here, all the earthquakes that are happening in Iceland, and they're still happening in the hundreds, if not thousands, over the past seven days. This is the last 48 hours for earthquakes on quite possibly one of the largest volcanoes on the planet, Iceland is. That's right. This all used to be underwater at one point. And man, oh man, look at these earthquakes. Straight line just south of the Blue Lagoon. Heads up, Iceland. Having a look at earthquakes now, we're sitting at 229 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. And again, no major swarms to talk about. Carrying on here with a 4.2 in Turkey and as well Greece, a 4.2 and a notable 4.8 earthquake here. Ethiopia into the Somalia plate, 4.5 there, Tajikistan. And there's been lots of strange earthquakes being reported, volcano discovery all across China right now, across the Tibetan Plateau in parts of northern China. So, yeah, stay tuned to daily events worldwide. It's hard to share all of this information with you. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Most notable have been the events at the Banda Sea and as well our deep, deep earthquake that impacted the Marianas Trents just before all of these large earthquakes at the Banda Sea. And it's way too quiet in North America right now. And Iceland is about to erupt. So, heads up, stay safe and healthy, my friends and family. Stay aware, prepared, hashtag no fear here. But be ready for anything. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center as they're reporting 191 active hazards right now. No major new volcanoes to talk about except for Katmai two hours ago, just updated, and as well Reventador. But we still only have 36 volcanoes that are up erupting and or active around the world. Regular players through Mexico, Indonesia, South America, Colombia, Sangay in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Mayan, the Philippines still going. Quick look here at satellite imagery from around the world. Big low in the northern hemisphere, Atlantic, and as well strongly or strong, tightly whipped low pressure system moving through the North Pacific right now, just north of Hawaii. And as well, multiple low pressure systems affecting Australia this week. As warm temperatures are going to start flooding in, you're going to see electrifying events across the nation. Quick look here at the multiple bands of moisture that have been pumping across Europe from the multiple low pressure systems that have been pounding through. Ramping up, getting ready for winter 2023. Speaking of which, having a look here at snowfall over the next 10 days, as we're going to see upwards of 150 centimeters west coast and as well through parts of Greenland. But not too much in the way of snow accumulations for the next 10 days across North America except Canada. Having a look here at the world weather forecast, low pressure system spanning through the North Atlantic and as well one coming through the Pacific that will be affecting California in the long range forecast and as well. Look at this big system coming through the Atlantic. That could be a cyclone in the long range. And then interesting system here developing could be hurricane status or possible superstorm status affecting northeastern United States and the Atlantic provinces. And this is in the long range forecast. Lots of snow is going to be coming with that behind all of these systems 
one, two, three, four in the long range. A big high pressure ridge building just before that, and things will be cooling down, but not after a 10 day period. Having a look over the rest of the world, a little bit of Europe and Russia. Still not much has changed. Multiple low pressure systems and wind events constantly here for the next few days, as you see, coming through parts of France and Ireland. And that big low pressure system forming in the long range for Finland. Overlooking Australia. Southeast Asia, the West Pacific. Possible cyclone developing there just east of New Caledonia. And then eventually one of those low pressure systems over Australia spawns off and heads towards New Zealand. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.